Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Medibytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel and in this video we will see the quick summary about uh, what we have developed so far and we will also see why we, the, you know, we need to go for a real-time dashboard. Okay. Before that, we will first see uh, the summary what we have done so far. Okay. So we have created a framework, uh, Selenium framework, which is ready for parallel execution. You can, you just have to increase the parallel, uh, you know, count number in the, in the testng.xml file and everything will be up and running. We have done all the threat safety related stuff. Uh, if you haven't watched all those, uh, you know, videos, please do watch them. And we also make sure that, you know, our test can be ran on local infrastructure as well as it can be ran on Dockerized Selenium Grid. Again, the, whatever the test that we have developed so far can also be run on any cloud, cloud infrastructures like browser stack, C test, or your, your other, uh, you know, cloud providers like Perfecto or P Cloud or whatever, whatever the cloud providers available in the market. So we'll also see about that later, but for now we'll restrict ourselves to run this on Dockerized Selenium Grid, but this is very, very simple to run it on cloud. We already have everything ready. So just, uh, we need to give the proper IP and, uh, and uh, proper uh, authentication mechanism, uh, you know, to, to connect to a different cloud providers, but we'll see that in detail later. And we'll also have an excellent report, which is working absolutely fine on parallel execution. There is no issues. So we have everything ready. Our framework is absolutely ready. We also have, we also having the capability to drive our test from Excel sheet with the help of data provider as well. Good. So with all these things, there is something that is missing. Okay. What's that? There, there is a need for a real time dashboard. Why there is a need for a real-time dashboard? Again, guys, what is real-time dashboard? So consider you have a regression test case, that, no, almost 700 test cases that's running for around three hours or two and a half hours. So there is a need for a real-time dashboard, right? This is this is needed. So when the when the test cases are taking so much of time, maybe are three, two hours or three hours, you know, I, it becomes very difficult for us to wait until the we get the real results, right? So, so what if you missed a config before starting your execution? In my application, there is a cockpit that I need to switch on so that uh, functionality works fine. I missed it to do that. So there is no way that I can get whether the test is passing or failing when it is running in Docker. Because if it is running in your local infra, maybe you can see with your naked eyes, but when it is running in, inside a Docker container, uh, we don't have uh, you know a capability to view how the test is performing, whether it is getting passed or failed. So, what if we have a real-time dashboard that tells us, you know, within seconds, whether the test is getting paused or failed immediately? What if we have a dashboard in, you know, something like uh, this? Something like this. Whenever a test is getting passed, this is getting updated to 90. If there is a test case getting failed, then it, it gets updated to 41, something like that. So we also have a vertical bar diagram or pie diagram, which you can showcase to your managers or your leads or your clients so that they can get impressed. Again, guys, this I am running in my local host. You can run it on any particular machine that is accessible to everyone. You can give the IP instead of local host so that everyone can act, see what's that live execution status. Again, there are a lot of things that you can do with Kibana, but we will come to that later, but you're gonna create something like this so that we can get the feedback immediately, right? So if you miss some config, I know you can see all the test cases are getting failed. So you can stop the execution and then rerun after changing the cockpit, something like that. So even, even if, the, if it, is, it isn't the case, suppose it is doing a nightly run, it doesn't matter. So we are, we are getting some kind of report, you know, which is going to help us to get a trend. Suppose we are running a, our regression suit every month. Okay. So on the Jan month, it you know, when we ran, only four test cases got failed. In the February month, you know, almost eight test cases got failed. So there is something wrong with our test cases. So there is something that is flaky that we need to fix. So we, we get a trend how our test is getting performed, right? So so these kind of things, okay, where you know can be you know accessed or analyzed with the help of a real-time dashboard, something like with the help of Elasticsearch and Kibana. You can use some other things like InfluxDB, Grafana, all those stuff. But in our tutorial, we're gonna see about Elasticsearch and Kibana because that's very, very simple. Okay, so this this is what the whole purpose is. When there is a human error, we, we you know in updating a certain config file, we get the feedback immediately. We get the trend analysis over a period of time. We can analyze how the automation tests are you know behaving. How, what is the quality of our automation test that we have created? And we, and we we can also create a dashboard for an entire company. So imagine you have a you have a dashboard like this where your entire company can you know send their reports. Each no, don't think like uh, you know the numbers getting mingled. Right, so each project will have their own indexes, so everything will be accessed separately. So don't worry about it. But you can create something like this and then project to your client or someone 
or even to your you know managers so that you, you can just impress them with all these things right so we will see more about this in detail in the, in the next video what is elastic search what is kibana how to install them in docker how to make sure that we create all these dashboards that are appealing visually appealing to others right so we will see all those things in details until then tata bye bye from amudan again guys if you are if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe so that you can get more videos coming in the future okay so until then tata bye bye i'll see you all in another great video bye